Frost, and she's downtown Bryan with uh, Janet Fox and I. There's Janet Hi. and Mark Troy over there. Wave, wave, Mark. I'm trying to get out of the way. And here's Ron, here's Rhonda Bring. We're all trying to avoid We're, the camera. Uh, yeah, you're, there's no avoiding it. No okay, avoiding. okay. So, um, so say something smart, Bethany. Kathy Appelt is a brilliant and brave writer. Very <laughs> smart. Very smart. That was a good answer. Okay, signing off. How much did Elizabeth give him? I cringed. Forty-three dollars. Daddy's eyes grew steely. Where would she get that kind of cash? Not from that damn coffee can. I didn't have an answer. Not one I could give. Mama hadn't told me a thing. If she didn't get that money from the coffee can, where did she get it? He pounded his fist in his palm like a pitcher, ready to hold, ready to throw a red hot strike. Elizabeth, he called out down the hallway. Don't, Daddy, let her sleep. I needed to calm and quit. I bet it was me, Ma's fault. Bet she told me Mama to sock the money away for a rainy day or something. He turned. Think so? No, so I said. He cocked his head, thinking it over. He knelt beside my chair. Correcting your right, Polly gal. I thought he might ruffle my hair, his way of saying sorry, but he didn't. Despite the battle axe planting thoughts in your mama's head, I don't plan to let my family go hungry. Never have, never will, he said.